Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so now we're going to do about scoring project. So I'm just going to open uh, about scoring project. Uh, and that pops up. I have it set to automatically open in, in Atom. And so you just delete these guys. Um, and then we're good to go. Okay, so greed is a dice game where you roll up to five to accumulate points. The following score score function will be used to calculate the score of single roll of the dice. A greed roll is scored as follows. A set of three ones is a thousand points. A set of three numbers other than ones is worth 100 times the number. A set of three numbers. So 300, three threes is 300, uh, that, uh, two twos is 200. Um, but Okay. And then one. A one that is not part of a set of three is worth 100 points. A five that is not Part of a set of three is worth five points. Everything else is worth zero points. Okay, so a one is worth 100 points by itself, and a five is worth 50 points. So ones and fives are worthwhile, even if you don't get them. So, okay, so here we have one, 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 one. So this is going to be 1,000. And then a f three is worth a, a three is worth 100 points and a five. So that's a thousand and then a five and fifty. So it's like one thousand one hundred and fifty. A one that is not okay. One is worth a hundred points. So this gets you a thousand. This gets you a fifty, and then this is another hundred. And this one, because there's no uh, ones or fives and there's no sets, is zero points. Uh, because there's three threes and a five, you've got three threes is equal to three hundred plus the five, which is fifty. Fifty points. Um, and so this one's 250. Why is that? One, two. So there's two 100s here. So that's 200. And then five is 50. So 250. Okay, got it. More scoring examples are given in the test below. Your goal is to write the score method. Oh, cool. The score method. All right. So assert equals zero. Awesome. This is actually going to be a good one. Um, let's see. Score. If somebody rolls zero dice, what happens? If they go score and your dice is zero, what, what is it? Wait, is it? Okay, the score, and then they're going to pass in array of the dice. Okay, so, well, we can just say um, return. Well, we can just say zero. If we save that, that's probably going to pass this first test, and we're fly failing on line 38, I believe. And so, right now, if we can just score and make it so it always returns zero, well, that gets us started, right? So we can rake command that. <clears throat> And uh, that will show us uh, we've failing on line 42 now. It's saying, you know, we want it to be 50, but it's zero. So if somebody ha has a single five on there, then that's good. So, well, the first thing that we want to do is start iterating through, right? Um, let's say uh, the um, points, uh, the, the points, uh, yeah, points scored is equal to zero. And now let's say zero. Now we want to return the points scored. Okay, cool. And now if our array, well, now what we want to do is say, well, if we want to iterate through our array. So what we can do is we can say dice dot each do, and then we're going to say uh, die. And then we're going to end that there, and we're going to want to have a a way to iterate on points scored. So points scored, well here we can say if um, die is equal to um, five, then points scored. Well yeah, I'll do it this way. If die is equal to five, um, points scored plus equals 50. Uh, 50, yeah, end. Okay, cool. So now if we're running that, I think it's going to pass line 42. Obviously, it only manages uh, individual ones, but um, I think it will cause this one to pass because now the point scored starts at zero, but we also say because if the die, if with this one that we don't, we don't iterate through at all, so we keep this point scored at zero, and so that'll help, that'll make it so we pass this one and this test now. Okay, so I'm going to run that. <clears throat> 185. Okay, 186, this is good. We're on line 54 now. So as you can see, it says expected 100 to equal 50. So on line 54, what happened? Well, the score is equal to one. 
And so we want it to be 100. So here, what we could do, we could say uh, else if die is equal to 1, then we go points scored uh, plus equals 100. Cool. So now if we save that, we should pass this test and this test and this test. Um, so yeah, let's run the rake task now and we'll see where we're at. Uh, 56. Okay, cool. Now, if you're doing this on your own and you kind of see a way to do it, you can just bang through it. I wouldn't be running the rake test each time if I weren't doing these specific videos. I would just write out a bunch of conditionals and get most, I would try to pass this whole thing in one and then figure out what bugs I had to deal with. Uh, so about scoring online 56. So here we are, 56. Looks like we didn't get it. Expected 100 to equal 50. Points score. If die is equal to five, Oh, you know what? It needs to be uh, double because they're not conditional. That was a mistake. That's crazy that the last one test passed. Okay, so now it's expected 1,000 to equal 300. And that's on line 68. 65. Oh, look. We actually passed this one as well. Uh, so line 68. 68. Oh, wow. So we actually passed this one as well because we just have these conditionals in there. Um, but now we need to worry about this, right? So it's like, what happens if it's a thousand, if there's three ones? Um, so what we want to do is adjust the situation. Um, so what we could do is take the dice and sort them. Um, yeah, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say the dice is an array. And so if we're passing an array of 1, 1, 1, um, well, I guess, yeah, we could just say if uh, the dice at position 0 is equal to 1 and dice at position 1 is equal to 1, and dice at position two. So that means the first three positions is equal to one. Then we want to go points uh, scored. And we want to add a thousand to that, right? And you know what? I want to be able to remove them from the dice too. So I'm going to make this a block. So if that happens, we want to be able to do that. And then we also want to say, um, you know, dice is equal to. So now what we're going to do is remove the first three ones because otherwise we're going to iterate through and count them again. And so we're going to say that the dice is equal to dice uh, at for position three uh, to negative one, I think. Oh man, I hope that we can do that in Ruby. Uh, yeah. How could I ch test this? Three, negative one. Uh, the way I could test this is I could be like, say we've got uh, one, 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 and we go, we set this equal to dice. And then we could say dice is equal to dice at uh, three and then negative one. And so dice, uh, okay. So I'm gonna redo it, dice is equal to this guy. And I think I could go dice minus one, one, one in Ruby. So our, now our dice is like that. Cool. And so that handle, wait. Yeah, yeah. So this would make it an empty array. So we would have to go dice is equal to dice minus uh, one, one, one. And so now our dice is set to an empty array. So that would work there. Um, so cool. So what we want to do is, set, is add this in here. Dice is equal to dice uh, minus one, one, one. Uh, this is cool that Ruby does this. Um, it, and uh, some people don't like things like this, but this uh, it takes the original array and then you just subtract that off of it. And then we'll iterate through it. So my guess is that this will pass other ones as well. Um, like it might pass this one because this one's going to need to be 1,100. And I think it's actually going to pass line, uh, test 87 as well. Uh, so let's save that for now. We're going to have to adjust this code in the future. Um, but I like to just iterate, iteratively move through things. So 77. Here we have assert equal. So here what we what basically want to do is 
have the same value. We want it to do the same thing we did for one to all the other uh, numbers. And so um, if uh, dice at position zero, here we have, so let's say this is two. So dice at position two is equal to two. Um, I guess what we could do is say at position zero, if the second one is equal to the one at position zero, and the, th the third one is at equal to the one at position zero, now this still works for number one, then we do points scored plus, uh, well, well, yeah, if the dice at position zero is equal to one, we do points scored is equal to a thousand, else we go the dice at position else we're going to go point scored uh, plus equals the position zero times a hundred right because we want to say a set of three numbers is worth 100 times that so we do point scored plus that and then uh, we can end the else statement and then we set our dice equal to whatever it was at position uh, zero. So we want to, so we're going to remove it no matter what happens. So if it's two, it's going to be, we're going to say dice remove two, 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 two. And so that should get us to pass all of these tests. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to save it. And it looks like we were failing on 77, which was this guy. Huh? Expect 200. Well, I'm just going to run a rake test now because I don't know where we are. Um, so yeah, we're on line 81 now. It looks like that didn't work. Expected 200 to equal zero. 200. So we have zero being returned, and they expected it to be 200. So let's uh, see what happens. Let's grab our uh, score method here. And I'm just going to paste it into here. So now we can call it here. So score is here. Okay, so now why is it doing zero? Die is equal to one. Else if die. Dice is at position zero is equal to. Oh, okay, so we actually don't need this guy. We just want to know that if dice one, if the position, the one in the second position is uh, equal to the one in the first position, then and the one in the th third position is equal to the one in the first position. So that just that still says the same thing, except for we just don't need it to be one. Okay, so if I save that and we rerun score, so I'm going to copy that, put it into there, and now I'm going to go score at two, uh, two, two. Then we get our 200. Okay, so that was where my error was. So I'm gonna save this guy, and we're gonna run the rake task again. And it looks like we've gone backwards. It's about scoring project, line 39. 39, so points awarded dice times 100. Position zero times 100. Um, yeah, undefined method star for nil class. If dice at position one. Oh, okay. So what's happening here is we're failing on line, I think, 57. So right now we're not handling an empty array. Um, so yeah, I guess what we could do is just say, now I'm just, there's definitely different ways to do this, but to solve this one, what we can do is we can say return zero if the dice is equal to an empty array. Now, if we save that, that'll take care of that uh, conditional. Cool. Uh, looks like a lot's gone through. Um, so now we're looking to line 90 for our solution. And that's down here. So 250. Okay. Yeah, this isn't too surprising because we don't have organization. This one should be 250 because it's got three twos and a five. But because we're only checking the first three integers, we're not getting it if it's ordered. So the first thing we want to do is just sort them, right? And how could we get this? So here's our uh, roll. Uh, 
is equal to this array, right? So if we go roll.sort, then we get it in a row. And so that's what we can do. The first thing that we do is we sort the array. So let's go back up to here, and we want to say um, dice.sort. Dice is equal to dice.sort. Cool. So yeah, here, here we have, let's say, do we still have the roll? Yeah, our roll's out of order. But what if we go roll is equal to roll.sort? We just basically just sorted it. Now, this has mu mutation problems that you would be worried about if you were running a bigger program. We're not worried about that right now, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, let's, let's rake it and see where we're at. So now we're on line 92. 92. So this one should be 550. Uh, expected 550 to equal 500. Well, it's actually expected 500 to equal 550. So this should be 550. And so what is going on here? Let's see here. What I want to do now is I want to paste. I want to see what happens. I'm going to put the dice. I'm going to say we're going to, we're going to write the dice in here. And so now I'll just copy this method and paste it into here. And let's say score. And then in our, for our dice, we're going to go 5, 5, 5, 5. Just like uh, on the test that's not passing for us. And so what happens when we do that? We get, okay. So this is the puts. So look at that. Right now it's getting uh, zeros. Like, so we're not, um, this isn't working. Dice minus the one at position zero. The way that we were doing it with one, it didn't work. So uh, my guess is if we go that minus... Uh, five, 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 which is what we're trying to do here, right? We're saying the dice is equal to the dice minus that. That's getting us empty, right? That's not what we want. Uh, so what could we do? <clears throat> well, if we had, let's say our roll is equal to five, 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 five. Well, roll dot, I think it's unshift, right? Uh, no, 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 shift maybe. Yeah, and now if we do it roll, okay, so that, may, that way we've done it, we've, re, we've removed it once. So we could just say roll dot, okay, and I'm not doing pop, roll Y, right? Because one, if it were one, two, let's say it was, um, yeah, so I, pop would work too, but it wouldn't work properly, right? Because then our roll would still, it would get, it would remove the last number. So I want to use shift to remove the first number. So if it were one, uh, two, three, four, uh, oops, if we were to set uh, roll two equal to one, two, three, four, and then we go roll two dot pop. Well, what we're trying to do with this one is we want to remove the first three. But if we use pop, roll two, we'll be removing the last one. So what we want to do, and now I can just, I want to remove the one. So let's, so we go roll dot shift. So roll two, we're removing the one. So we want to shift the dice. So instead of doing this, we could just say uh, dice.shift, uh, dice.shift, dice.shift. And so now, cool, I'm going to save this. No, I don't need to save this. Let's just grab our score function again, put, re-put it into here, and then we'll call it here. So we're going to say score, and then we're going to say the roll, which is uh, five, 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 five. Oh, cool. So the answer is 550. That gets us the number that we're looking for. And then this is the, the dice there. So that worked. Um, yeah, this is uh, repetitive code. It's not the best way to do things, but we're going to wait to refactor until we've got everything working. So let's uh, save this guy and see what happens if we rake. Um, so yeah, so fill me in. Oh, about classes. We've actually completed this. Um, interesting. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we, that, that solved it. So we just did dice.shift. So what would be another way to do this? Well, um, we could clean up this code, right? Uh, dang. That, actually, I'm surprised that that happened so fast. Okay, so about classes on our next one. Um, so yeah, let's refactor this a bit. So uh, return zero if dice is equal to this. I think that that's a straightforward thing. I like the way that it just handles it right away. If we, return, if we have an empty array, we're just going to get out right away before we even do any work. I don't want to change that. Dice.sort, I think it's great to sort the dice right away. If I, had, if I were doing this on a table, I would sort them out in front of me initially. So some programmers, there's probably a, there's a million ways to do this, I'm sure. So everybody gets to do their own way. But for me, organizing things first is very effective. And so then we initialize. Um, I think that it's cool. We have our points scored here. 
Um, any reason to do this differently? I can't think of any. So here, if dice at one is equal to zero and two is equal to zero, hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with this because I kind of like the simplicity and it seems fairly obvious to me. I mean, we could extract this into a different function and be like, if the, if the three are the same, but I think that that's just annoying. Um, one thing we could do here is we could say, we could do it like this. So if the diet position zero um, is equal to one, then we do a thousand. Um, but we need it to be in an if else statement. Um, so I don't actually really want to do that either. I'm not actually going to do that. I still think, I think that this actually makes it, if the, if the role, okay, one thing we could do is say, mm, no, I don't really want to do that. Anyways, this is something I definitely want to refactor. Dice.shift. So what we could do is go three times, uh, times do, uh, dice dot shift. Right? One, two, three. So what happens if we did three times three dot times do uh, put high uh, end. And then it goes high, high, high. Right? So we could do it like that. Do dice dot shift. That would make it a faster thing. Three times, do dice dot shift, and then end. Um, so that makes it a little bit more efficient. Uh, yeah, point scored is equal to 50. I'm not, I'm not even want to change any of this. I know that there's one line things that you can do to make that work, but I think that it's like, you know, actually I would say I might extract this into a, into a different function if I had a use for it in different places. Like this could be just like count the remaining points after the um, main ones are uh, re reviewed. But, um, you know, I'm not even going to do that right now because I think that you guys, everybody's going to have a different way of thinking about this. And I encourage you to do this pro project on your own. But for me, this passes all the tests. And um, I don't like getting hung up on thinking about things like this because uh, this is just learning. So... Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one. It looks like uh, we're still passing, so we'll see you in the next one with About Classes.